I'm Kim. I'm Brad. We're 626 Ohana, California, and today we are going to be reviewing the Carthay Circle at Disney's California Adventure. Yeah, so we're going to let you know what we thought of the food and some things that are coming up with Carthay Circle, the reason we're doing a full review on it. Okay, so when we went, it was on the alfresco menu, so that means that we were out on the patio, socially distanced. And that's kind of the way things are going to be for a while, it seems like, when they reopen Disney California Adventure as well. Yeah, so when we talked to our server, uh, she told us on the first floor and outside is going to be this alfresco menu only until they open the second floor, which they'll have a full menu, and they do not have a clue when this is going to happen. They see this being the menu for for foreseeable future. Correct. Okay, so it was kind of, it was... It reminds me of like a uh, tapas size that we had and it might have been a little bit more they said that's kind of this alfresca menu and it does change seasonally yeah so there might be the exact same things but there's gonna be some things that are probably even similar mm -hmm. uh, so be prepared for that if you are gonna eat at Carthe Circle so the first thing you ordered was mojito oh, yeah. it was really good it was really refreshing it wasn't too strong so it was kind of like that perfect and outdoor california weather it was really nice yeah hayden ordered cherry coke so they do have flavored uh <laughs> cokes there which is great so you guys Roy rogerson yep and then i got a boring iced tea okay and then we went and hayden and i both got the baked uh bay scallops and it came served in like a little half open what looked like a seashell mm -hmm. like one of the big like a clam shell. Like clam shell. Oh, thank you. And it came with a potato chowder. And it was kind of interesting because it had like a chowdery, but not a chowdery sauce. Like it had a cream sauce. And then the potatoes were sliced really thin. Like uh, it was almost like a quarter size. They were really tiny potato <laughs> slices. Like a miniature potato slice. I don't know. But I liked them. Hayden, our teenage son, did not. And but we both love the scallops. Mm -hmm. And then you also, you guys also shared the ceviche of Kona Kamachi, and that came with an avocado relish and tomato crazy water. So, like it, you'll see in here, um, yeah. <laughs> they poured that crazy to, or tomato crazy water over the top. I loved it. I thought it was really good. It was kind of fun because they made a little like presentation out of it at the table, which is always kind of nice to have something like that. Hayden didn't like it because he's not a big fan of like big huge avocado chunks and tomato flavor. I however loved it. Okay. And, and then they came with a little uh, tortilla chips, like the blue chips. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I ended up getting Moroccan roasted chicken meatballs. And really they were really good. Uh, again, it's a top of size and then gave you two meatballs. They were large. Yeah, they were large and they really had a great flavor. And I think it's a cumin flavor that was really strong. It did have a little bit more kick than a lot of Disney food normally has, which was for me great. Uh, underneath had pomegranate seeds and some tomato and stuff that had a really strong tomato taste to it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but I could taste it. And the pomegranate seeds are really hard to taste over that tomato taste. Also on the side there was like a Greek yogurt type of cream on the side, which I actually liked. It went well with the meatball. Uh, would I get this? Yes. And the reason I did get this is because I do have allergies to soy. And I asked them, w is this soy free? And they said, this fits perfectly into what you need. So the, if you do have allergies, be sure to ask, tell them. And, and Brad's then, not the biggest seafood fan. Yeah. So that's kind of... And they were able to tell me right away what they could do without soy and with uh, with my allergies. So it's something to be aware of. At the end, we had our, um, our server, Michelle. So she went through all the different uh, discounts are available right now. So they still have the legacy annual pass holder discount, which right now the lower tiers of that, which we didn't quite get a definition of what lower tier was, they get 10% mm -hmm. off. And the upper tier, uh, like what we had, we got 15% off. And they also on our DVC discounts at 10%. Yeah. So it's something if you do have that discount, use it. Yeah, of course. And that DVC discount's always going to probably be there, but... Your annual pass discount there, we have been warned that they are switching over to a app-based system. So if you don't have your annual pass on the app by a certain date, then you're kind of fresh out of luck. Yeah, so make sure you have that all added into the app. Uh, so of all, overall, what we recommend here? I think for lunch, this is great. Oh, I loved it. I, I loved all the seafood. I would absolutely 100% order everything I that we got again, <laughs> or as far as like the baked bay scallops were amazing. Yeah. That was 
It was really good. And the cast members, our server and uh, Michelle, we have to do yes. a cast member shout, shout out for her. And also our... Uh, so kind of like the person, that, like a host uh, that took us to our table, Ramon. He was really nice, had a really great conversation with us. He saw our son's baseball stuff and started talking to him about yeah. baseball and history. And it was really just kind of a nice, it's a very sweet man. So if you do have a chance to go, go. But do be aware it is a little bit expensive. Uh, for tapas, but it was well worth it. It was a very relaxing time to sit out on the patio. So if you liked this video and found it informative, please like, subscribe, and follow along with Arihuana. And with that, I think it's time for us to say goodbye and find, find your, your magic. magic. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.